let's see how we can actually create tables in MapRDB. So MapRDB allows you to create two types of tables, binary tables and JSON tables. In this video, I'm just going to talk about JSON tables. So I'm just going to see what kind of volumes are existing in my cluster. So I have three volumes under data, finance, health, and sandpit. So I'm just going to use sandpit and create a table. Okay. So for this, I'm just going to use MapRDB shell. So to get to the MapRDB shell, you type MapRDB shell. And then it takes you to the MapRDB shell. So to create a table, a JSON table, so you have to type a command called create, and then you have to give a path. So I'm just going to say slash data slash sandpit slash user. So, so user is the name of my table. So I'm just going to say um, user. So I'm just going to say users. Okay. So it says table. So once you run the command, it actually creates a table for you. Then how do you actually insert records into this table? So you type insert. So this is the table you want data to be inserted. And then minus minus ID. So here you have the ID is a primary key. So here I am going to give one and then what are the values that you want to insert? For example, I just want to insert name. Name being ABC. And then I want to insert phone number. This is being number. I'm just going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then Oops. <clears throat> okay, here is there. So right now one record has been inserted. Let's let's insert one more record. So in this case, I'm just going to insert two and then name being XYZ and then phone number being 77. So here I've inserted two records. Okay, so if you want to list all the contents, so you say find and then you give the table name and then it actually gives you all the records in the JSON. So if you want to find a particular record, then you use a command called find by ID. So you say find by ID. And then you give the table name. And then you specify the ID. So here I'm just going to say ID equal to one. It gives you that record. So this is very, very simple interface. So in the next video, I'll actually talk about if you have a JSON file, how do you actually import that JSON file into MapRDB? So if you do had HadoopFS minus ls slash data slash send, it actually shows you that it actually created a table called users tr. So see, 